Good day folks, this is just going to be a quick and simple video. Today DJI released a new update to the DJI Fly app that added a lot of long awaited features. Finally, we can fine tune our gimbal speed and we also have some yaw settings we can adjust. There's a few other new features, so let's just jump right in and take a closer look. Now, first of all, I just want to say that I'm quite impressed with the strength of the signal coming from the Mavic Air 2. I actually have it outside in the backyard. I'm down in my office in the basement, so it's going through concrete and it's quite a distance away, actually. But as you can see there, I have full connection and it actually looks pretty good. So let's take a look at some of the new features that have been added. So this version of the DJI Fly app is 1.1.6 and it just got updated overnight. You're probably going to see a ton of these videos in your YouTube feed today because it is such an important update. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. So let's take a look at what's new here. First of all, I'm just going to put the drone up in the air. We'll get the propeller started. Now it's hard to see on the screen here, but on the very left hand side, you can see we have this new control. If we click on it, you can see there it says safety assistant mode sideways flight off. So that now does not allow us to fly sideways. We can only fly front and back. So that's kind of an interesting new feature. And again, we can go ahead and turn that off just by clicking on it. Uh, the other new feature you can see up here at the top is we have some new battery information. You can see we have a nice representation of the battery that is remaining. You can see we have green and then we have red saying that we have 88% battery remaining. So it's a nice quick visual reference, but we can actually click on that and you can see there it gives us some more battery information, some more detail. There we have 22 minutes and 29 seconds until it returns to home. We have 24 minutes and 4 seconds, it just updated there, until it's forced to land. And we have 28 minutes and 18 seconds there until the battery is completely depleted. So that's one thing that a lot of people didn't like about the DJI Fly app is that it didn't give you very much uh, battery information, very detailed battery information. So that's a nice, definitely welcome update as well. Now another interesting update that they've added here, let's go over to safety. If we go to the top here, you can see that they've changed how the A-Pass and how obstacle avoidance, how you disable it works. You can see here they've kind of combined it into one thing now. Before you would go in and you would turn off obstacle avoidance and you would turn off A-pass. But now the way it's set up, you can see when we come to an obstacle, we can either have it bypass it, so it'll go around it, try and find a path around it. It'll break, just come to a stop, or we can turn it off altogether. And that way uh, we have no obstacle avoidance. So that's uh, kind of interesting. You can see right below that, we also have that disable sideways flight as well. Same as I already shown you, but in here there's just another toggle to turn it on and off. Now one of the big new features that they added, which is what a lot of people have been waiting for, is you now have the ability to adjust the speed at which the gimbal moves when you adjust the wheel. You can also adjust the yaw speed, which is your left control stick when you're spinning the drone. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now and uh, make sure you're on control there. And you'll see here we have a new option called Advanced Gimbal Settings. We can click on it and go into it. Now you can set the parameters for every mode. You can see here we have tripod mode, normal mode, and sport mode. So at the top here you can see we have the parameters for normal mode. We also have parameters for tripod mode. And we also have parameters there for sport mode. So for every mode you can go in and fine tune it. So we'll just check out the settings for normal mode for now. You can see uh, pitch speed for the gimbal is 15 and pitch smoothness is 8. And basically what that is if we turn the pitch speed all the way up, you can see when I hit the button there, or turn the button I should say, the gimbal moves very fast. And that's not very cinematic, sometimes you want to be able to control it with a bit more precision. So let's uh, turn that down, we'll maybe put it at uh, 12. And you can see there, when I have it all the way down, when I turn the wheel all the way, it's quite a bit slower. Now of course with this wheel you can adjust it uh, just by turning it a little bit or all the way, and that will adjust the speed as well. But sometimes that's hard to do when you're doing complex shots. Sometimes, you know, you turn it a little bit too much and uh, you end up ruining the shot. So that's kind of a nice feature. And the next is the pitch smoothness. And uh, I'll show you here. If we turn it all the way up to 30, what happens is when I let go of the wheel, you're going to see that the gimbal is going to keep moving. And that way it comes to a nice slow stop and it looks a little bit more cinematic. Now 30 is a little bit high. So let's uh, turn that down. We'll keep that around 14. And there it just kind of comes to a slow stop and that way it's not so jerky and the thing is you can always go in and play with it and adjust it as you need and depending what you're shooting and what you're filming sometimes you want it to be a little bit more abrupt you know if you're filming something with a lot of high action you want it to be able to stop right where you want it to 
So the next option here is the yaw speed, and that's basically how quickly the drone turns. You can see we're in normal, and when I hit the yaw, you can see it's moving pretty quick. Now with the yaw speed, of course, you can always just move the stick a little bit and you'll go slower. But again, sometimes when you're doing something complex, sometimes you move it a little bit too much and uh, you can end up ruining a shot. So we can adjust that. Uh, let's put the yaw speed all the way up to 90. You can see it's quite fast. If we put it all the way down to 20, you can see here it barely moves. So that gives you a little bit more control. And lastly here is yaw smoothness. Just like the pitch smoothness, it dictates on how quickly it comes to a stop. So yeah, some really nice new features for the DJI Fly app. I really like the DJI Fly app. Uh, I've stated that in the past in my initial review of the Mavic Air 2. It's just a nice simple app. It's got a nice clean interface. Some people aren't too fond of it, but I think now with some of these updates, uh, it's getting better. And I think a lot of people who maybe weren't too happy with it are gonna like it a lot better. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people didn't like it is because it was missing some really important features. But DJI has always been good. Uh, sometimes it takes them a little bit of time, but they've always improved their products. They're always releasing firmware updates. Now all we need is the firmware update to allow us to control the Mavic Air 2 with the smart controller. And I think that'll make a lot of people even happier. Now one thing I do want to mention here also before I go, when I first downloaded the DJI Fly app and I connected it to the drone, there was a firmware update. Now I don't know if that firmware update is needed for these features to work or if that was a firmware update from a few days ago. I hadn't checked my firmware in about a week, but definitely if you do get a notification to update your firmware, go ahead and do that. If you're not quite sure how to do that, if it doesn't pop up right away, you can click on that button there at the top, the settings, and go over to about. And you can see there it says aircraft firmware. That's the latest version there. 1.00.0309. All you have to do is press the check for updates and it will check for updates and prompt you to install it if there are any. Well folks, I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.